Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. It is Sunday. Um, it is freezing. It's what 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am working on Sundays now because Colby's job is Monday through Saturday and he um, he works from like he leaves the house at like 5.30 and doesn't get home until 6. So I have to kind of cut my days short throughout the week because of the dogs, except for on Thursdays because Aspen goes to camp. We are trying to get her into other camp days, but we're on a wait list. It takes a while. So until that happens, um, the shirt office is here and then the stickers are at mom's. So I'm having to cut my days short at mom's right now. I may bring the stickers back here, but I really hate having them in my house. So maybe not. Anyway, it is currently um, 44 degrees outside. Freezing. So like I said, I'm going to go work. I'm going to prep a bunch of orders to ship tomorrow. I want to get through the $2 Tuesday from last week try to get through as many of the new releases from Friday as I can. Um, we have actually already been cutting and foiling those. I don't know if mom's going to work today, so I may be foiling. And then I was up this morning putting some more designs onto sweatshirts because I've gotten a bunch of DMs and emails asking if certain shirt designs could go onto sweatshirts and that's not a problem. You guys can always email me. I don't mind to do that. Um, there isn't a reason they can't. It's more or less just that I didn't want to do a ton of sweatshirts. I know they are expensive, but they cost me a lot. Um, and that's because I went with such a nice one, but I am still considering doing a couple runs of the cheaper Gildan ones. Those don't cost me anywhere near as much. They're like a quarter of the cost, I believe, of the Bellas. So if I can ever find a full size run, I will grab them and do those for you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of how they feel. Um, I mean, they're fine, but the Bella ones are just so cozy and soft. I am gonna press one for myself later today. I'll show you guys that. The one that I have on was part of our Halloween collection. This isn't a sweatshirt, just a long sleeved, but I'm gonna wear this all the time. I'm obsessed with this shirt. It's one of my favorites. This is a medium that I have on, so it's a bit big, but I wanted it a little bit looser, so they are unisex. Anyway, so we had a big shirt release, 46, and now it's more than that because I added the sweatshirts this morning. We had 46 new things go up on Friday, and then we had a some more go up today. I'm still working through some other things. You guys did send me some stuff on Instagram in the stories about things you'd like to see. Um, there was one, Colby's watching me vlog from inside. <laughs> He's got the blinds open watching me. I'm sitting in the driveway. Um, anyway, so I, there's, there's some stuff that you guys wanted to see and there was one, um, Plana Hannah, I believe is who sent it in and it was deck the halls and not your family. And I am obsessed with that. So that one, I may do that one today. I've not decided yet, but tons of new shirt designs are up. So next week, um, what I normally do after a big shirt release is on Monday morning, go through pick list sizes, order those sizes. I try to order some extras. Um, that's going to be difficult this time for sweatshirts because they do cost so much. I will order some extra long sleeves though. And then, do I have like the road and the gas station in the back shot? I do, I'm sorry. The new car, I don't really have anywhere to put my camera because the screen comes up. Um, but anyway, I order them on Monday and then as they start coming in, I start pressing and sending those out. So I will be at my house for a decent bit this week. So I do want to try to get through what I can today for stickers. Um, and then next weekend, we do have a sticker release coming and we will be doing a $12 um, base kit. I want to bring that back. So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do mini and be six for that. I'm not too sure yet. We may just not include mini. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. But anyway, happy Sunday. Um, Colby and I are going to go to dinner later tonight. That's one reason I look like this. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's head over to mom's. I'm probably going to stop and get some breakfast on the way. Um, I am still doing like keto, low carb, but I am doing the weekends off. So I'm not really doing keto. I shouldn't say that because I'd be ruining it if I was more low carb. So I ate well all week, did a good job. And then yesterday and today are cheat days. Don't come for me. I'm, you know, anyway, <laughs> let's go to mom's. I'm going to just take you guys throughout my day. Like I did last week, this this process works a little bit better for me than trying to film all week. So I'm going to be cutting, probably foiling, 
I might be packaging. If I don't package today, I will take the camera tomorrow and package. I didn't really get that last time. And then I'll try to show you guys when Colby and I go out tonight, maybe. I don't know. I, I guess I'll get a little bit of footage of that. So I will see you guys when I get to mom's. So I started off my morning with a pick list mainly of shirts. I wanted to go through, cross out any sticker related items and just have those ready to go. I did need to add to that today and actually I'm gonna have to add to it again. But anyway, so that's what I wanted to begin with because I do place my short, sh I can't talk, my shirt orders on Mondays, um, especially after a big release. But I do try to only place them once a week. So after that, I went ahead and got started going through some stickers that mom had foiled. So basically, I am just going through combining the sheets, checking the foil and the cuts to make sure that they are okay. And then I'm just kind of setting them um, in a pile so I can then go ahead, put them into cello bags. Um, and I'm going to be doing more of that in a minute because these were just leftovers from Friday. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take my invoice stack. I did print this off camera. I'm going to just go through and sign thank you onto all of the invoices. It's something I like to do. I'm actually about to start putting in a new freebie. I don't want to tell you guys too much. I mean, it's a sticker. It's not anything crazy, but I've got like a neat idea and I wanted to do them for shirts because I don't really have any shirt freebies right now. And I don't see sending out like a sticker sampler with those. That seems odd, but the idea of a different kind of sticker sounds fun. So that's something that I'm going to be sending out with the round of shirts going out um, after I get my order in. So next, mom is foiling. That's mom's always foiling. Um, she's got that gold roll there. She's cutting off some sheets. And basically what happens all day is I cut the stickers. I turn around. I give them to her. She foils them. She gives them back. Um, well, she actually has got a big stack under that candle right there. So that's, she tries to press them as long as she can before I need them back. But when we're working like this, where we're kind of filling in what we're missing from orders, I normally just take them from her. So, but this was a very productive Sunday. We were able to get through a lot. And then you guys will see in a second, today is Monday when I'm talking. Um, this morning we were able to go through and do like reprints so anything that the foil messed up on the cutting messed up on just we were missing certain things or just kind of the random kits that we didn't sell a ton of but we still needed a few we go through and we do all of those so i wasn't able to get all of these orders shipped out today but i do believe we're going to be finishing tomorrow we have almost everything i need to go in and get some more of the random kits we need some layering samplers and then we need some foil functional items I do have everything laid out though, um, so I know exactly what I'm missing. So now we're on to today. I have now been working for, hmm, let's look, 13 hours. So if I'm all over the place, I apologize. So this is the stack that mom was just foiling. What I'm gonna go do, I can't, I'm sorry guys, I cannot talk. What I'm gonna do now is check foil, check cuts, and then I'm gonna go th through and, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. I'm going to go through and sort everything. That's what I'm, I, I don't even know why I'm explaining it. Um, you guys can let me know if you'd rather have just music over the, like these parts instead of me talking, but I feel like I need to kind of explain what's going on at least to some degree. Um, so once I get everything kind of stacked up the way that you see it there so that things are categorized by kit, I'll go through with my cello, package them all up. Um, and then I don't know if I show it or not, but I use um, a storage bin from the container store. I have quite a few of them, but since we're not really keeping stock anymore, I generally am able to just use the one. And then for mini kits, you guys can see I'm putting these little stickers on there. Uh, for B6, I'm just keeping those in a, oh, there's the container. I just keep those in a totally separate um, stack because we don't do a ton of B6. So it's, it's easy enough for me to just do it that way. So the next thing that I like to do, this is how, this is my process, and I'm sure that every shop is different, but I like to take my invoices, go through, and just stack. So I pull out everything that I need. If I'm missing something, I'll write it down, um, and then that way I know, because sometimes I swear my pick list is wrong. I don't know how that's possible, but I swear that it is. So I like to go through, stack everything up, and I normally make separate stacks. I'll do a stack that's ready to have labels printed, and then a stack that's missing things so that once I cut them, I can go back in. So the one that's missing things is on my laptop, if you guys can see it. It's the stack that is like facing vertically that I just moved because this is going so fast. 
<laughs> so now what I'm doing is just packaging what I've got, printing my labels. I've got my freebies sitting there. Um, we are, I believe, almost out of thank you cards. I didn't have any more at Mom's. It's about time, though, for the holiday cards with Ozzy to start going in. I need to get some made with Aspen, but I have like 500, I want to say, of Ozzy, so I may start with those um, and then get some done with Aspen. If I need them this year, I'm not sure. We need to have new cards printed either way because I need to do something for the instructions for the shirts. Um, I need to have that put on there as well. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm packaging everything up. And in just a second, my Dymo is, here it goes. You guys, I don't know what happened. I have the worst luck with this printer. Okay, it's, it's not happened yet. There it goes. Any other shop owners, do you have this problem? Is it because I'm not using Dymo brand labels? Like, I refuse. So it gets crunched up in there. I try to pull it out. Then the ink doesn't work because somewhere in there, there's like a piece of sticker sticking to it. So I finally got that fixed. And then I go to print something, turn around, and it jams again immediately. You guys are going to see mom come over in a second and help me. There she is. But this Dymo is just constant issues. So I've had it for probably five years. I think it took me a while to get it because I didn't mind doing labels the other way. Oh, there I am. Um, but if anybody, any other shop owners have this issue, let me know. Let me know if it's the labels I'm using. Let me know if you've got a different printer that you would recommend over that one because um, I am so done with it. <laughs> anyway, so moving on, I am now working on our $2 Tuesday listings. I wanted to do some really cute... Um, like dividers and some wreaths. I think I only did one wreath though. And then some like flourish items, some banners. So all of these are up on the website now, but there was a bunch of them. Um, but I wanted to do like a holiday release and I thought these turned out so incredibly cute. There's some that I am just like obsessed with. So the way that I do them, you guys just saw, I've put everything over into one silhouette file. I go through, create my cut lines, group everything the way it needs to be. I had an Erin Condren sized box, or I should say a standard sized box over on the right. I like to lay anything that's not a banner in there just to see how big it's going to be. Um, the dividers and most of the banners are 1.5 inch so that they stretch across the entire box. But for anything else, I do like to go in and just make sure that I like the sizing of it. Um, and that makes that a little bit easier. So then I'm going to go in and create all of my sheets, which is what I'm doing here right now. Uh, I just group things and then um, words. There's a tool in Silhouette that I don't know the name of, but you space things out and you know align everything so it fits in there nicely and everything's spaced evenly. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the end of my, well, it's not the end of my night. I'm editing this vlog now, but that's the end of um, the design footage, I guess. You guys, this is a mess. I'm sorry, but I'm so tired. I'm not going to redo this. So anyway, <laughs> bye. Hey guys, it is now Monday evening. It is about nine o'clock at night. We just finished eating dinner. <laughs> anyway, we just finished eating dinner. I've been working since about eight o'clock this morning, so I, I'm, I'm vlogging. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Anyway, so I packed, packaged a bunch of orders today. We got a bunch of stuff shipped out. Um, finished up $2 Tuesday stuff, which you guys, it's like they all know. Anyway, finished up $2 Tuesday design, which you guys have now already seen. Just got all of that up. Well, I got it up about five o'clock, listed all of that. And now I'm about to sit down and edit this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye guys.